Hey everyone, I'm Kelly. I'm a solution consultant with Echolocity. And today I wanna to highlight some of Smartsheet's latest features in their new AI tools. So as we all know, AI tools are being leveraged more and more. And Smartsheet's really been focused on how to get these tools into the hands of their users. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering the three tools that Smartsheet is um, currently offering through their AI technology. So if you see up here on my screen, I am showing a um, typical project intake sheet, right? So this is a sheet where new project requests come in through an intake form. It's where we're capturing all the project metadata, like the department it came from, the billing type, project phase, the status, the project charter information, project health indicators, all of that good stuff. Um, and over here on the right hand side, this is where you can find the AR, the AI tool. So generate with AI tools. And these are the three options that you have. They actually are um, talking about a fourth option that they're coming out with for get help, which is a AI tool that allows you to ask questions about Smartsheet specifically and how to use their tools, which is really cool. Um, well, it might, so it might give you answers from their help pages and things like that. But these are the three that are available right now. Um, so there's analyze data, generate formulas, and then text and summaries. So if I jump into the analyze data, this tool allows you to gather insights and charts from the data in the sheet. So you can just, it gives you some examples of questions you can ask it. So it can give you like numbers of things or averages of things or, or chart data. So an example I might say is how many projects are in the IT department? Right, and then it's gonna, okay, tell me three. Yep, that's great. So in this list, there's only seven projects, but if you have an intake sheet with 100 projects or 200 projects, right? Of course, you could apply a filter, but you can also use analyzed data to get some of this information. Um, you can also say, create a chart for projects by department. So then I can see how many projects are in every department that's on the sheet, and it's gonna show a little chart for me. What's really cool about this is you can actually copy it to your clipboard and then you can go copy it into a presentation, into an email that you need to send to somebody. Um, you can even download the image as well. Um, we're hoping that maybe in the future, these charts will have a capability of being added to a dashboard uh, or something along those lines. That would be really cool. But at this point you can copy it and use it in other materials, which is, which is still um, a great feature. So I'm going to go back. The next one we have is generate formula. So this one is really big and really useful. So currently, obviously, they have formula help pages that you can look at. You can use the Smartsheet community, which is something that I've done many times um, to kind of get to the bottom of a specific formula you're trying to figure out. But here you can actually tell the AI tool what you need out of a formula, and then it will generate that formula for you. So it's pretty neat. I'm going to scroll over. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm looking for a formula. I have these health indicators. The budget, scope, and schedule are going to be input by the project managers. Um, but the overall project health, I want it to be calculated based on the health of these other three indicators. So um, I'm going to put in my description for a formula. So it says I need a formula for project health based on these other health columns. Once you start typing things, it's going to show up the column name. So anywhere where it shows purple, you can see that that's actually referencing the specific column in the sheet. So if budget health, scope health, or schedule health are red, make this column red. If budget health, scope health, schedule health are all yellow, then make this column red. And if there are two yellows in budget health, scope health, and schedule health, then make it yellow. If it doesn't meet any of that criteria, make it green. So I'm going to click generate formula. It's going to come up with that formula, what it is, and then you can actually apply to the selected cell, which is great. Okay, so now we know the formula is in here, and now I can test it. Okay, so let's say budget health is red. That would be my expectation. Um, let's put it to yellow. Okay, now two yellows makes it yellow, and three yellows should make it red. Perfect. So this is working exactly as I would expect, which is fantastic. And now I'm going to right-click and set it as a column formula across my sheet. Um, so that is a really, really neat tool. 
Okay, and then the last one is text and summaries. So you can draft text, summaries, translations. Um, the few examples that I've seen Smartsheet use in their videos are you can ask it to generate ad copy based on a marketing campaign sheet you might have and a product that you have on a specific row. You could also take that ad copy and then translate it to another language. Um, so, you know, it just allows you to summarize some of the data that's like take the data that's in the columns in your Smartsheet and then generate text summaries based on it. So in this sheet, I have these columns that are um, essentially the project charter and some of the questions that are asked when a new project is submitted. So what's the problem we're trying to solve? What's the proposed solution and approach? What are those benefits and outcomes, right? And you know, typically we also have a project description column or project summary, which is also kind of like a quick overview of what the project is for. We can use this tool to generate this for us based on these other columns. So it can actually give us a summary based on all the information, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna to go to text and summaries and I'm gonna say, provide me a project summary using these following columns, generate text, right? So these columns have long descriptions in each one and it's taking that information, kind of synthesizing it into this short um, or shorter, um, summary of what the project is about. And you can even take it a step further and say in under 300 characters. So if you want to make sure all your project descriptions or project summaries are a certain length, you can then indicate that. So I'll say generate text. Perfect. Operations will develop and launch a new software application to replace the outdated system, addressing inefficiencies and user dissatisfaction. And you can see the rest. Then you can apply to selected sub. So you can do that for all the projects. Um, and get that project summary once once those projects are approved. I'm go ahead and save that. And that's it for those three AI tools. Like I said, Smartsheet is coming out with a fourth option here soon. Um, so make sure to subscribe to our Smartsheet playlist on YouTube so you can continue to get notified on any new videos that we have coming out sharing this new functionality Smartsheet is releasing, as well as any tips and tricks and strategies that we have for using it. Thank you.